everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be um, a get ready with me using the Too Faced Too Femme palette oh <laughs> I reviewed this last week and you guys wanted to see some more looks so I was thinking about going um, a little more like purpley route just feeling some spring vibes lately. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Anna. I upload videos five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I would love to have you come join. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off with primer, and I'm gonna go in with my pretty filter Icy Sherbet Primer from Touch and Soul. This is like one of my favorites. And yeah, I'm really excited because I love this palette. If you guys have not seen that review yet, I will link it down below but I was so excited to see it in stock at Ulta. I am very excited to kind of start branching out on my content this year. If you have not seen yesterday's video, I did a purchase or pass, and I talked about like the new releases and stuff, and um, I'm really excited to say that I did purchase the Jaclyn Cosmetic Skin Tint and Concealer. I was kind of curious about it, and you know what, Like I get, like I said, I am branching out on my content and I was really hoping I was going to be able to like get it up this week, but I am not going to get it shipped in time. I'm not going to like get it in the mail in time, so I have to wait till next week, but you can count on getting a full wear test. Now I'm going to go in. I feel like I was just in like spring vibes, so when I think of like peachy and stuff, I think of spring. Um, the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation from Too Faced is what we're gonna use today. And yeah, I've been like, I've been really wanting to just like try out different makeup that like I normally wouldn't. Like, I went to Ulta yesterday and I picked up the e.l.f. CC, like Camo CC Cream. So I was like, you know what? I wanna try it out. And you guys have been requesting like foundation reviews and I always get nervous about foundation reviews because I have like oily skin. I have like, you know, more sensitive skin at times. I have, I'm more prone to breakouts. Like, I don't know. I feel like someone like who has more like combination dry skin would be like the perfect person to go to foundation reviews for. But I mean, I, I want to try it out. I want to try something new. So here we are. And this foundation in particular, um, not this exact bottle, of course, but um, I remember when this came out back in like 2017 and I was so excited. Excited is an understatement. When I saw this launch um, at Sephora, baby bought it all. Like I, I got it all, man. I was so excited. You know, they were coming out with a matte line. I love matte everything. So this was like the perfect line for me. And now they don't even like sell this anymore, which is so weird. All right. So for concealer, we're going to go in with a total classic, the Tarte Shape Tape. Love this stuff to death. So I'm just going to apply some of this on. Yeah, I am just like, I want to try out more new makeup this year. That's like my goal. I want to try out new makeup. Broaden my horizons. And I am so tempted. I keep thinking about it. <laughs> I am so tempted to get that glam light icy collection. Like those palettes are so cute. I don't know. What do you think I should try? Like I'm curious to hear your thoughts and opinions. So let me know in the comments down below what you think I should test out in a video. We're going to go into the Fenty Pro Filter Butter Powder. Love this stuff. This is like so good. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go in with just a smaller brush right now, and I just want to set my under eyes because your girl, can, I, I don't know. I like do not understand. Maybe it's because like I'm oily skin, but I do not understand how people can just say, like, I'm just not gonna set my face today. Like, I just feel like I feel complete when I set my face with powder, like, I don't know what it is. Like, do you guys set your face with powder? Like, I'm so curious. So, this powder also smells so good. Also, I was trying, I know I mentioned this yesterday's video, but um, I was really trying to get the e.l.f. CC, like, camo powder. But how does it sell out so fast on Ulta's website? Like. And I'm like really like stock in the website. I'm like, get back in stock. Like, I need you. <laughs> like, I want to review you. Okay, for powder, we're gonna go into the Elf um, 
Primer Infused Bronzer. This is in the shade Forever Sun Kiss. This is one of my favorite bronzers. It retails for like six bucks. You can get it at like Ulta. I know, because I get everything at Ulta. Um, you can get it at like Target, Walmart. I know you can get e.l.f. at Walmart. I remember when you could only get e.l.f. at Target and it was like certain Targets. Like you could not get it all. Like I remember my local Target when I was like 13, when I was like seeing everybody test out e.l.f., you know, my local Target did not have e.l.f. at the time, but um, like my grandma's Target did, so. There we go. Okay, so now that we have that on, I wanted to do a peachy blush today. I thought it'd be so perfect to go like hand in hand with this beautiful palette. Oh, this is so cute. Um, so I'm gonna go to the ColourPop Animal Crossing blush in the shade Flower Tender. Yeah, I wanted something a little bit lighter. Like, I think we should just go ahead and like manifest springtime. <laughs> um, Cause you know what, I'm sick of the cold, I'm sick of the snow. And um, you know, I live in the Midwest. It was really cold earlier this week. Well, when I'm filming this, it was earlier this week. But I'm just, I'm done. Like, I, I'm, I'm good with winter. Like, thank you, next kind of thing. <laughs> Let's go into some highlight. I'm going to take the Milani Baked Highlighter in the shade Dol ooh, Dolce Perla. And yes, mine is broken. I don't know how that happened, but that's why I was, like, kind of holding it weirdly because I was, like, nervous it was going to fall out. But, like, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, just I wanted kind of like a nice subtle glow today. Nothing too crazy. And I'm just gonna kind of hit the apples of my cheeks just like a little bit. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do brows next. I think let's do let's do brows first. So I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz and then the Brow Freeze. So I'm not gonna be able to like talk much while doing this because like takes a lot of focus, especially when you're using the brow freeze. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then when I get back, we'll start the eyes. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking, do I want to do purple or do I want to do peach? Oh my gosh, I don't know. So maybe I'll do like a pop of purple and like lavender and peach. I think that sounds really pretty. So let's go into this shade right here. Well, first I'm going to set my eyes a little bit because I, I forgot to set my eyes with powder. And usually like I take, I use concealer as my, um, <laughs> as my eye primer. And so I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm going to set it. So this is the shade Hearts of Flutter. So cute. Oh, you guys, this is such a nice palette. But I'm just going to kind of set this because I hate the feeling of something tacky on my eyes. That's just like personal preference. Okay. Next, I'm going to go into this peachy shade right here. This is called pretty powerful. It sucks. Like I mentioned this in my review, but I wish they had the names were just like on the palette rather than like behind it because uh, I don't know. I'm just picky. Let's go ahead and take a Morphe M441 and I'm going to take it and just tap off excess and blend it right into my crease. I also, um, when I'm filming this, I finally found the e.l.f. brow freeze at my local Ulta. Oh my gosh, it was like such a pain in the butt because I was going to order it online and I had it in my cart and I was going to place an order and then it was like, oh, you know, out of stock. So I was like, okay, I'll put myself on the email list so that Ulta can email me when it gets back in. And of course, um, they haven't done that yet. So I was like, okay, hey, I go into Ulta. So I went into Ulta last week when I'm filming this. Um, they were like, oh, you know, we're out. I'm so sorry. So I went in yesterday when I'm filming this, of course. And <laughs> I was like, do you guys have a brow freeze? And my old manager actually was like, you know what? I think I do. Let me check in the back for you. And she came out with one. They, she did not have the applicator. They were all out of the applicator. So I think I might order the applicator just for fun, but I don't know. 
I don't know if the applicator is like actually worth it or not. So um, I'm gonna take this like larger brown shade called Queen of Everything. I sometimes like to think I'm the queen of everything, but I am definitely not. So I'm just gonna take like a little bit on this angled brush. This is from Lexi. It's the medium angled shading brush. And I'm just gonna kind of pat this right on the outer corner here and just kind of blend. Yeah, I got some really cool things. I have been getting really cool things lately at Ulta. Like I just, I've been really wanting to get more into like drugstore and just like finding really affordable, awesome products for you guys. So yeah, if you're interested in that, yay. <laughs> We're gonna take this shade um, Pretty Powerful once more. And yes, I think I am gonna keep it with a peachy vibe. And we're gonna go in with a pencil brush. I just need to find one. Okay, let's take this one from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna pop this on my lower lash line. And I do have this really beautiful lip combo already picked out, but I think it's not going to work because it's more pink. And this is more of like this, like a peachy, corally kind of vibe. So I'm a little <laughs> mad because I thought I was originally going to do something a little more cool toned. We're going to take a quick break from eyes because I just picked out a new lip combo that I want to use. So we're going to first go with the NYX Lingerie XXL Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade XX Expose Me. It's more of like a warm tone neutral. I look really weird right now with my eyes. Like, I know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just kind of... This liquid lipstick formula is seriously some of the best I've ever tried. It is $9. Like, I cannot recommend it to you guys enough. So I'm going to like kind of go back and forth because I want this to kind of like dry down before I put lip gloss on top. So I'm going to take a little bit of this shade right here. This is You Give Me Butterflies. So cute. Um, I'm going to take that same pencil brush. I'm just kind of accent like the outer part of my lower lash line just like that again I kind of wanted something a little lighter and whatnot so there we go we're gonna go into the shade hearts of flutter once more and I'm gonna just highlight my brow bone I'm gonna next go into the shade what's the shade let me just kind of figure it out I wish there were like one or two more shimmery shades oh that's cute though Let's go into the shade Hear Me Roar, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna get it on my finger. I'm just gonna kind of pat a light wash of like shine and shimmer. So pretty. Okay, we're gonna go back to lips. We're gonna add on the Anastasia lip gloss in the shade Peachy. I thought it was very fitting for this look, right? <laughs> okay, but this Lip, liquid lipsticks can be so drying. I'm always a big proponent of like, put some gloss over the top of it. Your lips are going to feel a lot better. There we go. So we're going to go into liner and lashes next. So we're going to use the Milani The Tank Liquid Liner and Tarte's Big Ego Mascara. And I'm going to do that and we'll be back for final thoughts. But oh, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, love it. guys I feel so ready for spring right now I don't know about you like I'm looking at the snow outside my window and I'm like Ooh. Ugh. <laughs> but yeah um let me know if you want to see more looks with this I know you guys were initially interested but a nice peachy fun moment oh my gosh I love it and I just wanted to make sure you guys know if you have not tried out the Tarte Big Ego Mascara this is so good like look at my lashes like they're so beautiful this is such a phenomenal mascara um you can pick it up at ulta you can get it at sephora like 
I love this. So um, I was really obsessed with it for a while and then I kind of forgot about it and I realized I had one in my um, in my like backup drawer and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to open this. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like and subscribe, ring the bell, and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Bye.